Okay, Pepper here. I don't know exactly what kind of dog she is. Let me get her right in the shadow of her. Hey, Pepper. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. I think she may. Well, them two are just going at it. Come here, Pepper. Pepper. Hey. Stop it. Y'all too quit. That's pepper and sugar. They sound vicious. But I think sugar's an American bulldog. And she's the less aggressor of the two. Pepper would be the more aggressive one. And uh, I believe sugar could whip pepper if she wanted to. But she don't want to. And uh, But you can't hardly see her. But I think... Well, dang it. If y'all would quit, quit. I think that Pepper is a uh, one of those Tennessee tree and brindles. I'm not sure, but uh, she tends to not like raccoons. She definitely got some coon dog in her, but she tends to not like raccoons at all. She does not like cats. Sugar could care less. She don't dislike cats. She don't dis. She likes everybody, but she'll play fight with Pepper. But I believe Pepper. She's a very hot dog. Uh, somewhat aggressive dog. She's very nice and sweet. Friendly. Come here, Pepper. Mine's real good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Now, Sugar don't, but Pepper does. Pepper does what you tell her to do. Usually. She's trying to show out because she's on camera. But I think, if I can get her over here. Pepper, Pepper, come on, come on. Pepper, Pepper, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now I think she's one of those, uh, like I say, one of those Tennessee tree and brindles I'm not sure but you can look at her tell her coach definitely brindle and uh, I think that's what she is I'm not real sure if anybody knows anything about one of these dogs um, the Tennessee tree and brindle dog or tree and Tennessee brindle or whatever you call it um, let me know because I just, I just don't know. Uh, I mean, she looks like one to me, but I ain't never really seen a whole lot of them. Come here, come here, come here, come here, Pepper. Come here, Sugar. Pepper's scared of this phone. I think she thinks I'm. I think somebody. She's uh. She's my wife's son's dog, and we've had her for a while now, and uh, her and Sugar are his dogs, and. Uh, they, uh, she half killed one of our cats, and if you watch our videos, you know our cats are our babies. And 700, almost 800 dollars worth of surgery later, cat's alive. But uh, she about took her out, and she is a. But our cats look just like raccoons. Look at our videos on them, and you can tell. But I mean, she is uh, definitely. You know, anything comes up at night. She has a problem with it. Um, she does not like this phone, and I don't know why, but uh, I think the last place she was at, somebody hit her a little bit. I don't know. But every time I go near her, she let me pat her. She let me love on her and everything, but she won't let me get close to her with this phone. Uh, I'm videotaping with the phone. Come here. Come here. Come here. Pepper. Pepper, come here. Come here. Where's a good girl? Say, let's get a good look at her face. There she is. She's a good girl. She is a good one. Yes, she is. She loves getting loved on. Yeah, but she looks, she looks like one of those. If you know anything about, you know, the markings on those brindles, and then that's her coat. Looks like that. Her tail, her feet, her head shape her ears. I mean, I just don't know. I don't know. About her size. 
I've never seen one, but I've looked them up online and they look like her. So, uh, anyway, somebody let me know in the comments if you know anything about it, if I'm wrong or if I'm right. Uh, I'll try to edit this down to where it's not so bad. But uh, just let me know in the comments if, if you think that's what she is. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're not getting rid of her. We're not going to sell her or anything like that or give her away. You know, she's home. But uh, she probably live her days out here. But uh, at the same, and we're not going to hunt her. But I just, I just wondered if that's what she was. So if anybody knows, uh, let me know. Because we thought she was, everybody said for a long time she was crossed between a blue tick and a pit bull. But I don't, I don't believe that either. She may have some pit bull in her. But uh, if it was, it was a brindle pit bull. Because that's definitely a brindle pattern on her back. And Chuggy over here is most definitely an American bulldog. And she ain't going nowhere either. Chuggy, this is the sweetest baby you've ever seen. She wouldn't be aggressive with nobody. She'd scare somebody to death, but I don't think she'd ever fight nobody. She's she's easy going. But, but now that one, she's easy going too. If she knows you, <laughs> if she don't, don't come on this property because she's going to bite you, um, unfortunately. But that's why we got beware of dog signs everywhere. And we keep them. We don't, though this is their area out here, but they don't, um, they don't stay out here all the time. They, uh, they stay, um, we've got an area for them in the laundry room and they get walked about three or four times a day and they come out here to run around about three or four times a day maybe five times a day so they get a lot of interaction a lot of play they're not just left alone for hours on the end outside and that, that seems to make a big big difference in them if you leave them out here a little half acre backyard they're getting out of that fence you better believe it if we leave them on a chain so you see the things hanging on the direct TV thing there? They're getting out. But, uh, yeah, I wish I knew somebody. I don't really want to kill a raccoon or nothing. Just because I don't care for it. I'm not going to eat it. I don't want to kill it. But, uh, if somebody coon hunted, it doesn't make them a fine coon hunting dog. And I know she'd enjoy it. I believe. But,. Anyway, y'all just tell me what you think. Have a good day.